So there are seven AI tools I've been using for months now, and honestly, these are so incredible that I'm shocked more people aren't talking about them. But I'm going to reveal all seven of them for you in this video, as well as how they work. And the best part about all of these is that they are completely free to use. So this first one is an app called Kin AI. It's sort of like ChatGPT, but it's really more of a companion, almost like a life coach and it remembers things about you over time. So this is the Kin app right here, and the first time that you download this, it's gonna ask you a few questions about who you are and what your different goals are. The more information it knows about you, the better it's going to be able to help you. Now you can click on here at the top left to see what different things people use Kin for. So a lot of people like to use it to help them prepare for their day, because this does actually connect up with Google Calendar. You can also set goals for yourself and it will remember those goals and help you stay on top of them. You can use it for things like procrastination, for creating an action plan if you have something you need to accomplish, for improving your daily routines. There's a lot you can do with this. And the more that you use it, the more helpful it's gonna be. So for instance, up here, we have the weekly insight. If you use this for a few weeks at the end of the week, you can see exactly what you were able to accomplish over that past week and what you might have to work on for the next week. But let's actually see it in action. I'll come to the chat right here and I will ask it, what are some of the things that we have been working on recently? And you see it's telling me that we were working on different ways to manage stress, different ways to bust stress. And it even mentions that we were talking about taking my dog for a walk. It even remembers the name of my dog because that's a great way to de-stress at the end of the day. Now, currently, if you turn on the experimental features, there is a voice mode as well, which sounds a little bit more conversational out loud talking. So I can say to it, hey, Ken, what goals should I set for myself? Let's reflect on what's been stressing you lately. You mentioned work stress. What specific areas are causing the most tension? We can identify some achievable goals from there. So pretty convenient, that is in beta, but it is a pretty nice feature already. Now, there are of course other apps out there like Kin AI, but what makes Kin different is that it's completely private. So while similar apps store your conversations on their servers and even train their AI based on what you put into it, Kin doesn't do that. They keep everything local on your phone and don't train any of their AI models based on your inputs. So that means I feel a lot more comfortable sharing personal information or my goals or things I'm struggling with, with Kin. And it also remembers all of that and then gives me personalized advice based on that. Now, if you wanna try Kin out for yourself, I'll have a link to it and actually have a link to all the tools I'm talking about in this video down below in the description for you to check out. All right, next up is something from Google Labs that is going to completely change how you shop for clothes online. It's an app that lets you virtually try on any clothes using AI. So this is the app, it's called Doppel, D-O-P-P-L. And the first time that you open it, it's going to ask you to upload a photo of yourself. You can upload multiple photos, but I will just upload one I took recently. There we go, this is actually a photo I took when I was trying on a jacket at the store. So that works pretty appropriately. So we'll just give it a second to upload. And then it's asking you what kind of clothing you're gonna be trying on. So I'm gonna select men's clothing and then you can pick your first look. So coming through here, I wanna see what this outfit looks like on me. So I'll click on try this look. And then once it's ready, you can click on the photo and actually see what you look like with that outfit on. And I think this is pretty impressive. Now you're not just limited to the looks that they give you. So let's say you wanted to do another one. I can click on the plus and actually upload a screenshot of an outfit from a website. So let's say I'm on a website like vori.com. That's where I buy a lot of my clothes. I see an outfit there. I can take a screenshot of it, upload that screenshot, and it'll actually try on that outfit for me. I think this is perfect if you wanna try new styles, but you're not sure how they're gonna look on you. You can experiment with different types of aesthetics, see how a certain color works on your skin tone, or even try out bold fashion choices that you might be hesitant to actually try on in person. And I think the AI generates really realistic images showing you these different outfits. It's surprisingly good. So if you're shopping online, wanna know what the clothes look like on you, give Doppel a try. 
Now this next one might be my favorite tool on this entire list if you have an Apple Watch. It's an app called Chirp and it basically brings the power of AI directly onto your wrist no matter where you are. All right, so to launch Chirp AI, I just click this complication on my watch face and you'll see that there's this yellow bar down here. That's what you have to hold down to actually be able to speak into Chirp, which is the way that you interact with it. There's no keyboard for this. So I can say to it something like, explain to me like I'm five years old, how a black hole works. Okay, imagine space is like a trampoline and everything in space is like a ball sitting on it. A black hole is like a super, super heavy bowling ball. It's so heavy that it makes a really deep dip in the trampoline. If you roll another ball too close to- So you see the first thing that it does is it transcribes what you say and it uses AI for that. So it's super accurate. And then it actually reads the message out loud for you. Now you can come in here and mute that or change the volume for that. I like having it on so I can actually hear it out loud, the answer. And it feels like a lot more of a conversational AI. Now this also has real time search as well. So I can ask it, what is the current price of Bitcoin? And again, it will transcribe that message and then start looking it up. So this will take a second longer because it actually has to do that search. Bitcoin's price is bouncing around $115, $180 to $117, $932. It's been a bit up and down lately, but it hit a record high just a few days ago. And then if you want to check on that, there's actually a source down here. You can click that. Now I'll actually open up a mini web browser so you can verify that that information is correct. Now, what I love about this is that in the past, if I wanted to look something up, I would pull out my iPhone, look it up, and then get distracted checking my emails or checking social media. But now I just quickly look up the information on my watch, I'm not distracted, and then I can go on with my day. Now, Chirp does some other cool stuff as well. So I can, let's start a new chat here, and I can say to it, draft a message to Kevin, letting him know I'm running late, and also come up with an excuse for me. Hey Kevin, so sorry, running late. My neighbor needed help with a flat tire and I couldn't just leave them stranded. Be there ASAP. Okay, and then I can click on share and that will actually open up the share sheet. I can send this as a text message. So that's a bit of like a two-step process to send a message through Chirp. Uh, it's a lot more seamless just to use Siri. However, with Siri, you don't get the benefit of that super accurate transcription or the AI as well. Siri's not gonna come up with excuses for why you're late like Chirp will. You can do other stuff with this as well. You can also do the same thing to send emails through your watch and you can even look up where things are and it will open up maps for you and start directions to those locations as well. So it's basically like having ChatGPT on your wrist with you at all times. In fact, if you have cellular for your Apple Watch, you can even leave your phone at home and this will still work. Now there is a paid version of Chirp AI, but even on the free plan, you get 10 messages for free every single day. And then if you do decide to pay for it, it's just $2 a month and you get 200 messages per day. Okay, this next tool is perfect for anyone who really cares about privacy, but still wants to use AI. It's a website called Venice and it takes privacy to a whole other level. So I'm here on Venice AI and what makes it special is that it's really designed from the ground up to be completely private. They don't log your conversations in here. They're not using your data to actually train their different models that they have. And yet it's still a very capable and powerful chatbot. So just like with ChatGPT, you can ask it any questions that you want and it will generate a response for you. You can see all your chat history over here on the left. Now, one of the ways that this is private is that all of the chat history is stored on your browser. It's not stored on their servers. So if you were to clear the cookies from this website or from your browser, all your chats would disappear, but that's one of the privacy trade-offs that you get. You can see down here that they also have web enabled as well, so it can do real-time searches, and it even creates images as well. So all you have to do is put in the same text box exactly what you're looking for and click enter, and then it will automatically switch to a model that does image generation and make the image for you. What also makes Venice very unique is that they have a completely uncensored model. So if you've ever been chatting with ChatGPT and it says that it's not allowed to answer a certain question that you ask it, chances are that Venice will actually be able to answer that question for you. Now, just like with the last tool that I showed you, there is a paid version of Venice. However, 
Just like with the last one, you do get a certain number of messages for free every single day without even having to sign up for an account with Venice AI. So this is a really great option, even if you don't wanna use this all the time, but there's ever anything sensitive you wanna ask, anything personal you wanna ask, or if you just want access to an uncensored chatbot, this is the perfect solution for you. Now, before I show you the next tool, if you're enjoying this video and maybe if you've learned about a tool that you hadn't heard of before, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly finding new apps and new websites and new tools that give you access to free AI. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, this next one is an AI Chrome extension that has completely changed the way I now browse on my computer. So you can find this by searching on Google for Max AI Chrome extension, and then it should be the first result right here. So just open that up and go ahead and add it to Chrome. Now the way I use this is anytime I'm browsing on the web, like looking at an article such as this one, if I don't wanna read the entire article or wanna make sure it's an article I wanna read before actually diving into it, I can just open up the Chrome extension by clicking on this and then ask it to actually summarize this article. And here we have a short summary of the article done for you. You can see that this was done with GPT-5, but this is also available to use with Claude, Gemini, and DeepSeek as well. You can have it rewrite for you. You can regenerate the response. You can copy it. So there's a lot you can do with this. Now this also works with YouTube as well. So here's one of my YouTube videos. I'll click on this button that says summarize. I just wanna get an idea of whether this is a video I actually wanna watch. And here you see, you get the TLDR for the video. And if it sounds like something I'm interested in, I can then go ahead and watch the entire video. You can also chat with it. So if I wanted to ask some follow-up questions about this article, I could do that right here in the chat bot as well. Max AI can also help you with your writing. So let's say you have an email open and you went ahead and wrote it and there's a lot of typos in there. You wanted to have it rewrite it to be something a little bit nicer. You can highlight this and then click on the Chrome extension. And I can say something like, fix the spelling and grammar and also make this email less mean. I want it to sound more professional. And here we have a revised version of it that fixes all the errors and makes it professional. And I can just click here where it says replace selection and there is our new email. So this has changed the way I now use my browser. There are some AI browsers out there already that have something like this built in. But what I like about this one is that you can use this with any browser that is based on Chrome. So that could be Chrome, it could be Brave, Vivaldi, any of those you can use this so you don't even have to change browsers. Now this next one is also from Google and I had to include it on this list because once again, I hear no one talking about this. It's called Google Learn About and this will help you learn any topic you want in a very unique way. So you can find this inside of Google Labs. You can just search for Google Learn About and it should come right up. And it's designed specifically for learning. Instead of just giving you quick answers like regular search, Google Learn actually takes you on a journey to really understand your topic. So for instance, let's try this out. So I can ask it to teach me about how the Northern Lights work. And then the first thing we'll do is give you a text-based answer up here that's very short and kind of just explains it to you. And sometimes they'll even send you relevant YouTube videos like we see right here that summarizes the concept as well. So things start to build on each other. We have the basic explanation, then we have a more in-depth explanation, a more in-depth video, and they have these really unique learning opportunities called stop and think. So this is when you stop, you read this, it's kind of like a quiz question, and then you click tap to reveal to see whether your answer was correct. What's also really cool about this is that this really allows you to dive deep into so many different subjects because we first learned about the Northern Lights, but let's say I wanna learn about a related topic because something related to that are solar wind emissions or Earth's magnetic field. So if I wanted to dive into that specific content, I can click on any of these and that will then start searching and teaching me about that subject. And coming down here, we also see that as well down here, this is a way to explore related content. Now, if any of this is too complicated, you can click right here where it says simplify, or if you wanna go deeper, just click where it says go deeper. But let's keep it simple. I'll click on simplify, 
and it will make it even easier for you to understand. So this is perfect if you're trying to learn a new topic. It's basically like having a free private tutor. And finally, let's talk about something that's available right in the Google app and on the web. This is a quick one, but it is really cool. And I'm surprised more people don't know about this. It's something called audio overview. And it basically turns any search result into audio that you can listen to. So you can do this inside the Google app or by searching on the web. So let's search for how do noise canceling headphones work? And of course you see an AI explanation here at the top and then the search results down here. But if you click right here where it says show more, sometimes you'll see a video, but down here, this is what we're looking for. Right here it says Search Labs Audio Overview. And you can click where it says Generate Audio Overview. And then we sort of have like a two and a half minute podcast that explains exactly how noise canceling headphones work. So this is really great if you're multitasking, you can listen to this maybe while you're driving or doing some chores around the house, whatever it is where you wanna be learning about something but you can't be concentrating or actually looking at a screen, this is a perfect way to do this. So let's go ahead and give this a listen. Silence the engine roar. Or maybe you're just curious how to block out noisy neighbors. It's all about noise canceling headphones, but how do these things actually work? It's a really cool bit of tech actually. They're really so it's really cool that the fact that they have two speakers like that, it makes it feel a lot more dynamic. It's easier to listen to. I think it's a super, super impressive and a really, really cool feature that more people should know about. So there you have it, seven AI tools that are completely free and incredibly useful, but most people have never heard of them, but now you have. Now, if you love this video and wanna hear about even more free AI tools, check out this video right here. I cover seven more free AI tools that you will absolutely love. So definitely make sure you click on this video and check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.